Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. Today we're going to talk about artisan bread and the no need bread. This is a no need bread improved or revised version that I've been experimenting with. Other people have been experimenting with it as well. I mean, I'm not the inventor. But I wanted to do today is my sister Tracy's here, by the way. Hi! Um, and she is a big bread baker, big bread aficionado. And we've been talking about bread the whole time she's been here, so I thought let's bake no need bread and bake the artisan bread in five minutes a day and see how they kind of stack up. I mean, they both have pluses and minuses, so today we're doing it. Cool, huh? But I don't get to get my hands on the dough in either one. Well, yeah, but well, you can touch the dough a little bit, but anyway, <laughs> by the way, um, Jeff and Zoe have a really great book, Artisan Bread in Five Minutes a Day. They gave this to me, and they have, um, a couple of new books coming out. I think one is about whole grain artisan bread, which is very cool. Oh. So when you're making no knead bread, you start the dough the day before. You put in three cups of flour, cup and a half of water, quarter teaspoon of yeast, a uh, teaspoon and a half of salt, and you mix that up and you put it in a bowl and you let it sit overnight. Okay? Then mm -hmm. you pull that out. And what I do now is I take a, I put a cutting board down with some parchment paper. I take the dough out of the bowl and I slightly knead it. What I do is I basically, I take it out of the bowl and I form it into a ball and I roll it in under itself. Okay, and then we put that on the parchment paper and we let it rise for two hours. So that two hours is over now and we have that in here. Well wait, um, we let it rise for two hours. At the hour and a half mark, we take it out of here. I always like to put them in the oven with the um, with the oven light on, it kind of creates kind of a warmer space. But we need to preheat the oven now, so we're going to take this out. Hello, bread. So that's the no need bread after uh, overnight in a bowl and then a two hour rise. I put the rack in the middle, not the bottom. If I put the rack on the bottom, my crust gets burned. This goes on separate. never quite know what's going to happen there, so. I love that stove. This stove is out of a uh, 1950s camper trailer. And the camper trailer is still in the field behind those trees. Didn't the squirrel live in the stove? Uh, there were chipmunks or mice in here, so I took the stove down to the car wash and took it apart and I power washed the whole thing. All right, our Dutch oven has been preheating for a half an hour at a 450 degree oven. We've had some brownie snacks. Take this out as quickly as you can. You want to keep that oven as hot as you can. So we flour the top. You want a serrated knife. That tore a little bit, but that'll be okay. So we gather up the corners of your parchment paper and we'll put this in here like that. It used to be with the no need bread, you'd take the loaf and flunk, flunk it in, like in our, in our original uh, video about no need bread, but I would always hit the edge and it, would, it wouldn't work very well. So the lid goes back on. It's okay if the parchment paper comes out. This goes back in the oven. Half an hour with the lid on, okay? Okay, timer went off. 30 minutes with the cover on. Pull this out. Look at that. Cool, huh? Wow. Goes back in. It can be 15 minutes, it can be 25 minutes. Uh, my oven's a little wonky, so it always seems to be 25 minutes, but your oven might be shorter. You can also use a thermometer, because Tracy uses a thermometer. I always kind of thump it to test the doneness, but mine's always kind of, sometimes a little wet inside. So what's the temperature, Trace? 
180. You want 180 interior temperature? Yep. Okay. How cool is that? One seventy-seven. One ninety-two. One ninety-two. <laughs> Labrador's not in motion. With the uh, artisan bread in five minutes a day method, what you do is you you get a food grade big container like this. Um, this is an eight quart. You could use a six quart. You put in. It's about six and a half cups of flour, mm -hmm. two tablespoons of yeast, three, three, six. salt, and three cups of water, I think. Yes. And you, you put that in here, you mix it all together, and you let it sit on your stove top or your countertop for two or three hours, and whoom, it rises up, and then it collapses on itself. Mm -hmm. And you can use the dough right then, but it's really best to put it in your refrigerator and use it the next day or the next week if you want. This has been sitting in the, uh, the fridge for a week, which is really cool because that's one of the secrets to making really great tasting bread is a slow, cold rise, I believe. The beauty of this is that you have this big thing of dough and when you want to make a loaf of bread, you just pull it out and let it rise for 40 minutes and throw it in the oven. You don't, with the, with the no-knead bread, you have to think, oh, I want to start that the night before. This, it's here, okay? Parchment paper. Just flour the top and then flour your parchment paper a little bit. That smells great. I'm going to take about half of this out of here. The great thing about this is that it's cold. It's been in the fridge. So it's really easy in your hands. It doesn't stick nearly as much as a warm dough does. By the way, every once in a while I just drop it on the parchment paper which has flour on it. But this is the method, this is our kneading method. I mean, it's it's not a completely, neither bread is a true, you don't touch it bread, but it's a quick knead. You're turning it clockwise or counterclockwise and folding, you're folding the dough over and in, into itself like this. So we're going to let this sit for 40 minutes. Um, in the original artisan bread and five minutes a day method, they tell you to put this on a pizza peel with cornmeal or bread peel with cornmeal on it and you'll slide it in the oven. We're going to do something a little different. We're going to use a Dutch oven with this, which they have um, talked about in some previous, in some new blog posts and videos they put on their site. And the cool thing is when this is empty, you don't wash it out. When you've used up all the dough, there's still little bits of dough all over the place and that creates, that starts kind of like a little sourdough starter. Mm -hmm. So when you add new flour to this, it gets the flavors from the dough that's been there before. So it's, that smells great. I'm going to want to uh, put some little design on here. But here's what we're going to do. Instead of using a serrated knife, I saw this on uh, the Tartine Bread Bakery book. Get yourself a coffee stirrer or maybe a chopstick or a little slice of wood and get these single edge razor blades. Goes in and then through the other side. This is called a, an LA, a lame perhaps, L-A-M-E. But that's how they carve neat things into the tops of loaves of bread. We're going to carve a triangle in ours so we don't get our two loaves right. mixed up. Oh, cool. How cool is that? So this has been preheated. It's been preheated for a half an hour at 450. So again, half an hour with the lid covered. Alright, it's been a half an hour. 
I'm going to take the lid off. It looks nice. Wow, it's already a different color though. Yeah. All right, another 20, 25 minutes. 20 minutes because it was a smaller loaf. What do you think? He's very brown. That looks great. Nice, huh? Wow, which is which? This is the no need bread. This is artisan bread in five minutes a day. This is Labrador Retriever. <laughs> wow, they look very, very similar, don't they? Although this so this is the bigger. this is no need bread, and this is artisan bread here. So this is artisan bread. This has a tang to it. Mm. This is the no need bread. This is really quite good though. It has similar flavors. You're saying that as if you were assuming this wouldn't measure up, is that true? Well, I thought the artisan bread, because the dough has been in the refrigerator for a week, would have a much more developed flavor. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. Come listen to our radio show, Garden Fork Radio. You can listen to it on our site or on iTunes. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. You can also send us email. You can also call us. Our Garden Fork uh, voicemail line is 860-740-6938. All right? The dog's here. So. All right, see you later. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>